In this video, we're going to replicate this box to show you how to use the basic tools in Sketchlist 3D. The first thing to know is that the models in Sketchlist 3D are comprised of a series of containers that are nested together. The overall container is the project, which in this case is storage shelf. And if I click on the storage shelf, you see the floor of the project. You see that the dimensions are 48 by 96 by 24. And you can change these at any time. The next level of the nesting is the assembly. Only assemblies can go into projects. To insert our next assembly, I'm going to click the Add Object button in the upper left-hand corner and select Add Assembly. Two things about inserting in Sketchlist. First, assemblies are always inserted at the same size as the project. Second, Everything is inserted at this point where left, bottom, and front corner have the value of zero. So the first thing we're going to do is change the assembly size so it is the same as our original box. On the spreadsheet, if I click that arrow, I can condense those rows and compare the sizes. Here the width is 36 of the original, so I'm going to type in 36 there and click that value for width. Height is 36. Again, I can type in 36 here or I can type in 36 here and now click top. The back is 24 type in 24 like that. So we have two assemblies of the same size. I can hide this assembly so we can work on the new one or I can take this assembly and move it to the right. In order to do that notice that the right edge of this first assembly is 38 inches from the left edge of the project. So if I make this another size, say 40, and click the right, I have the second assembly set off by itself. In order to insert boards into that assembly, I have to go to the assembly level. I can do that by selecting that assembly and going to the assembly level. Now we begin a series of repetitive actions. First, we're going to insert a new board. So click the new board icon, give the board a name. Second, pick the material for that board. And here I'm looking for sheet goods, three quarter inch thick. Third, I'm going to put the dimensions of that board. The width will be 3 quarters of an inch, the height will be 36 inches, and the depth will be 24 inches. This width is the thickness, and the height is the grain direction. Now I just add the board. I want to put some space on the front of this board for my face frame. Now there are three ways changing things in Sketchlist. We've already seen the spreadsheet. If I wanted to add three quarters of an inch to the front, I would type in that and notice that the depth and back are highlighted. I want to have this board back up 24 inches, so I'm going to change the depth like that. 
Now what I'll do is put in the bottom board. Again, it's the same process. This is bottom. Same material. The width, at this point, I'm not going to bother calculating. The height will be 3 quarters of an inch, which is the thickness, and the depth will be 23 and a quarter. Grain direction will be the width. Now the left, I know, is 3 quarters of an inch because that's the thickness of the left side. So if I add the board, it comes into play, and I want to push that back the 3 quarters of an inch. So we move to our next tool, which is the spreadsheet. Here I can enter 3 quarters of an inch and simply click the back button so that lines up with the side panel. Next board will be the back board. I'm going to change the material just so we can see it a little better. Again, I'm going to guesstimate at the width and the height. The depth in this case is going to be a quarter inch, so I'm going to change this. I'm going to go with this quarter inch sheet good material, which will be the thickness of our board. The crane direction will run the height. Everything in sketch list is inserted where the bottom, left, front values are zeros. So I want to move this back to sit on inside of the side and on top of the back. And the easiest way to do that is to take that blue dot and right click it. And it has the values of 3 quarters left, 3 quarters bottom, and 24 inches from the front. Copy those values. Click these values. Just and paste like that. So I have the the I have the essential boards for my box. I'm going to use a tool in Sketchlist to create the right side and that's just the clone and mirror tool. What I'll do is rename this so it just stays clear as we progress. Now that I've got that board in place, I can take this bottom board, hold down the shift key, and then just slide that, and you saw it snap at the last second, and do the same thing with the top. Hold down that shift key like, oops. You want to check, left is 35 and a quarter, the right is 36, so I went too far with that. I just take it, pull it back, and do it again. And you saw it snap that time. Same thing with the top. Notice that the top of these boards, 36, take the bottom board, and this time I'll use the clone in space command from the bottom. I want to use Sketchlist to set the spacing such that the top is 36 inches from the bottom of the assembly and just clone that. There's our box. If I go back to the project level, you see that we have two identical boxes. 